Welcome back to another After Pulse video. Willis back here again, and this is the video you need to see. Finally, everything is going to make sense in this video, and that is because, boom, take a look at this leaked screenshot of the upcoming update, which once again, we're assuming is going to be June 6th, 2019, just about a week away here. So get ready, get hyped for this. No guarantees. They didn't say that's when it's coming. That's just my personal guess, because that's when the current Gamma Jester Protocol season ends. But now looking at this, man, it is pretty pretty obvious that there is some type of battle pass system, royale pass system, whatever you want to call it, coming to after pulse. So in the middle of the screen, you see that horizontal section with all the numbers 1 to 20, 21 to 40, 41 to 60. I'm guessing that implies the levels as you see we're like in the 1 to 20 section since that's highlighted. And if you look down just a little bit from there, you'll see 1, 2, 3, 4 from left to right. And so I think that is pretty obvious that those are going to be sections of levels you can and jump I'm assuming you can scroll you know if you look at the bottom half of the screen you can scroll from side to side from tier to tier to check things out check out what the rewards are check what level you're at things like that but I'm assuming you can use that middle menu to maybe jump from position to position or maybe it just shows you the range uh, but hopefully you can use it to uh, jump because that's gonna be quite a while to uh, scroll through all 200 levels and so that's our next point that it looks like the final tier will be level 200 since it caps out at 200 on the right hand side I'm guessing 200 is the final tier that you can unlock that you can complete and get a reward for if you look at the bottom once again it looks like as you complete each tier as you level up here in the season progression this is what I think season progression is by the way season progression is like the after pulse battle pass type of thing as you complete each level you get some type of reward now starting on the left hand side you see the utility Sierra helmet bg i believe that is called looking at the text here it's like super grayed out since it's already collected and claimed in this screenshot but we talked about that gear piece last video which was super super interesting some changes coming to the gear user interface screen and adding things like squad skills things like that so definitely check that out man so many videos to check out if you're just coming back to after calls you know i hate to like self promo i mean i don't hate to but i hate to like i don't know what i'm saying but <laughs> you get what i'm saying I don't want to so sound like too self promo e, but uh, hopefully I don't usually. But uh, <laughs> go back and watch all of the images where it's like ranked gear sets come in. Anything from that point forward, I think that'll get you caught up on everything coming to after Pulse. And seeing this here, everything should finally make sense. Since you see in the bottom left there, that is the gear image that we just went over last video, and that looks to be a reward for one of the tiers here on the after Pulse seasonal progression. And so in that video last video we talked about how that gear piece matches stylistically not exactly but stylistically with one of the ranked gear sets that we saw and so that would imply that the higher star ranked gear sets will be available through this pass that's my best guess I think it's pretty obvious I'd be surprised if it was any other way they've said that those ranked gear sets including the first ever seven star gear set coming after pulse they've said time and time again they being the developers that the gear cannot be purchased directly and it cannot be gotten from crates so I'm gonna assume with relatively high confidence that you will be able to obtain all of those ranked gear sets through this seasonal progression system and I think it's super obvious that the first ever seven star gear will be the final reward at level 200 that's not guaranteed that's my speculation but I think that would make sense and so looking at the other rewards here looks like you get some cash you know 20,000 cash nothing crazy uh, then skipping position three here for a second go to position four looks like it will have some gold rewards in the past which is super nice to see we'll always take some more gold even if it's just 10 you know kind of a small amount but these are the earlier tiers in the past who knows later on if you're at like level 150 maybe we'll start to see like hundreds of gold as a reward or like hundreds of thousands of cash as a reward and then talking about position number three here you see that new type of currency which we've been talking about in the last handful of videos since the screenshot of the new home screen has leaked you see in the top middle you got a box for that new currency and I don't really understand or know or have really any speculation on how this currency is gonna be used but the currency symbol does have the same symbol as the squad symbol so I don't know if it ties into your squad somehow um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to spend it or something I have no idea I'm just kind of thinking it thinking 
thinking of it in terms of like Fortnite V Bucks. Like maybe you'll have to to start things off to buy the first after Paul season pass here. Maybe you'll have to buy some of that currency with real money hopefully it's not too expensive if that is the case once again this is just speculation but maybe you'll have to buy that similar to v bucks and then you'll buy this seasonal progression pass with that currency and then as you go through the pass and collect all of the tiers then you make some of those currency points back just like in fortnite where you make your v bucks back essentially if you put the work in and actually complete the battle pass it ends up paying for itself and i think you even like profit a little bit off of this so maybe it's something like that that's kind of how I'm thinking about it right now I'm just thinking of these this new currency as like a v-bucks type of thing and so we'll see that's pure speculation if you guys have better ideas definitely let me know in the comments below and then just talking about the last semi visible tier here is number five on the right hand side looks like the matching torso piece to the headgear in position one so probably a four star utility Sierra vest or jacket BG whatever I'm assuming and as you go down the line, you'll complete that gear set. You'll eventually move into five star gear sets, six star gear sets. And I think level 200 will be that lovely, lovely reward of the first ever seven star gear. And uh, let me go ahead and bring up that image just to go over it again. We got this image utility Sierra helmet BG four star piece here. Talked about that a lot last video, so uh, we won't touch on that too much here. Then, of course, we got this image here, which in the left hand side, we got this gear set, which I I believe featured the Titan symbol, which is spots two to 10. Then we got this guy second from the left, another Titan gear set, uh, similar style to the Sierra BG thing that we just showed you. And so then we got the seven star gear set in the middle. You know, I've made several videos going over all this stuff. So check those out, just bringing it up one more time. Then we got this guy on this side here, which is another rank two to 10 gear set as far as we know. So if it's like rank two to 10, does that mean that you're gonna have to get to tier 190 to start collecting those gear pieces in this seasonal progression here? Maybe. I guess that would kind of make sense. You know, you're in the, the top 10 of the seasonal progression system here. Or maybe it's like a different reward. Maybe you collect these V-Bucks types of things, whatever. Um, I'm starting to make things super confusing, I know, but... Uh, <laughs> Maybe you collect these uh, seasonal XP currencies and maybe there's some sort of ranking system based on that and you can, you know, it's like squad total squad ranking and, you know, maybe the number one squad from each week, each of those people in that squad gets a seven star gear set. You know, it doesn't have to be the reward for the final tier here, but that's my best guess as of now and, you know, I'm just spitballing ideas here, throwing things out. Really, the last thing to touch on here is the timer, which you see shows 307 days, 18 hours 58 minutes 11 seconds and after Pauls did actually tell me uh, via messaging that this was just kind of a test configuration and the seasonal progression here won't actually last that long uh, so I don't know exactly how long it'll last or anything like that but my feedback was that it was a little bit long maybe you know just to kind of close things out here if, if there's 200 tiers here to complete you can kind of think of it like just leveling up in the game itself you know, if we back out, go to the home screen here, you see level 200 is the current player level cap. And you guys might have an idea. It's kind of jumbled since the game respawned. And, you know, if you played before the quote unquote respawn of the game back in November of 2017, then, you know, when Digital Legends fully took back full control of the game, then you probably got some levels for free or whatever. Like you were instantly level 40 if you were level 40 before or something like that. Uh, so you might not totally know exactly how long it took to hit level 200 but I'm sure some of you guys started over from scratch and you know exactly how long that took so it takes a decent amount of time and you know it wouldn't be the end of the world if this actually lasted that long and it took that long to progress but uh, my feedback was like hopefully it's a bit quicker hopefully you know there's more seasonal passes like this coming in the future you know more content to keep us refreshed and updated but remember on top of everything you're seeing here and in the last couple videos we should as far as I know no, we should still have like all the standard like new gear, skin gear, um, previous additions coming back, you know, Nightcrawlers, Chrome, uh, whatever, Jade, Dragon, Cinnabar, Adam, Adam Toxic, uh, Jester, uh, both Jester versions, whatever, you know, we got all those skinned guns to play with still. 
skinned weapons and all the different seasonal gears to play with and collect so as far as I know this sort of seasonal progression will just be on top of all of that so hopefully it doesn't last 307 days but we should have a lot to keep us occupied here and then I think really just going over those season XP boosters would be the last thing to touch on here I'm guessing that just I think it's pretty self-explanatory now uh, <laughs> Uh, they just give you a little boost to progress through this a bit quicker and uh, yeah I think that pretty much does it um, I feel like I did a terrible job explaining everything but I'm just really trying to get these videos out there as soon as possible taking whatever time I can get to throw these together and you know I'd love to make a bigger production bigger spectacle out of everything but hopefully I got you the information that you're looking for if there's anything I missed anything you want to touch on definitely definitely let me know in the comments below and uh, uh, yeah, just to go through the images one more time of everything we've seen so far. I think I have access to them all on this recording here. So this is like the battle pass type of screen. Then we got uh, these ranked gears. Um, we won't slide that around or anything. You guys have seen that enough times. And in past videos, we had many other images of the ranked gear sets as well. So check those out. Uh, then we got this guy here showing the details on the new inventory screen of the gear pieces. You can toggle those buttons on the right hand side to see two piece, three piece set bonuses and squad bonuses. Then we got the uh, just this image of the sort of squad area where you can chat with your squad and there's going to be a squad leader. You can join something. You have a squad ID. Uh, it shows you if any squad skills are active and you know we still don't know exactly how you'll be able to play with your squad but based on the I think I talked about this last video but based on the addition of the squad abilities where you get in this example plus two percent range for squad I think that's pretty much confirmation right there that you will be able to play with your squad and you know queue up into matches with your squad now we don't know if that's gonna be one specific game mode if you're gonna be able to play any game mode if it's just gonna be custom matches or something different it could be any configuration you could think of we don't know anything in that regards but I think this image right here if I didn't harp on it enough last video I don't really remember what I talked about I think this image confirms that we will be able to play with our squads in some sort of shape or form and I think I touched on that video that my current prediction is that it'll just be four people per squad you see on the bottom right here kind of four different positions you can go back check out the last video if you want to hear more about that just an idea no idea if it's right or not but continuing on here we got this lovely guy the first assault class weapon that will activate smg abilities in the game so uh definitely check out the videos on this guy and then we got of course the new home screen coming to the game you see the squad button in the top right the new sort of seasonal game mode is going to be tactical defense operation you see a seasonal progression under that i'm assuming that'll take you to the like battle pass screen that we see here and then of course you got the new currency in the top middle other than that pretty much everything else is looking the same as it has it been recently then we got the lovely winter warfare epic weapon shotgun and for all of these new delta epic weapons they have said the same for the ranked gear sets which is that they cannot be purchased directly and they will not be available in crates so I'm assuming all of these epic weapons you know mr. Uh, blue and yellow up here and the shotgun here and the others I'm about to show you will be rewards in this battle pass type of thing not confirmed but seems to be a reasonable guess at this point so aside from the lovely winter warfare shotgun we got this jester grenade launcher and of course we got the c trace revolver we got all that stuff coming so it is no joke man after pulse is speeding up getting with the uh <laughs> the trends of adding some sort of battle pass to the game uh just closing thoughts here if you do have to buy it with real money hopefully it's not too expensive and and, you know, I think it would be fine to buy this for like $5, $10. If you do have to buy it with real money, hopefully it's not too expensive. Maybe you have to buy it with this new seasonal currency. If you do, maybe there's a free way to earn that seasonal currency. I don't know. Uh, there's just like so many things we could continue to talk about here for hours and hours. Uh, I need to start like an 
after Paul's podcast or something. I don't know, dude, but <laughs> I'll try to keep it concise and leave it at that. And now we'll just jump into a little bit of action for this video. Another back-to-back -back match from Deadshot52's live stream. Playing with some more legends, of course, and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into here. All right, jumping into the match here, we got Deadshot52 on the team. We'd love to see it. See what we can do out here. Totally stole that kill and got shot in the back. Uh, another one using the UNK CQB threat. Uh, ended up talking about the threat ability, special scope or whatever. Uh, pretty much during all of the match last video if you want to hear some thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, in this gameplay we're still using the same setup. 4 star wolf mask, 5 star sea trace pants, and the year of the pig jacket and our 7 star CQR 2000 threat and I think the rocket launcher is a 5 star I've since made 2 6 stars of that guy so you know we'll have the pieces to make the 7 star I don't think I'll actually pull the trigger on it still working on getting some uh, 6 star burners to be able to make a bunch of 7 stars but you guys have heard me talk about that for a long time now just um, you know my weapons building strategy just kinda wanna build everything so we have two six stars of each so that's enough to make the seven star obviously and then just working on maxing out all of those six stars you know one out of the two for each possible weapon and then eventually someday we'll have like every six star maxed out and we'll just need a bunch of six star burners and then we can like pretty much instantly make every seven star but i mean that's super long-term plan obviously we've been playing like i don't know three you know, three years and some change so you know maybe not the the best strategy but it's a very long-term strategy and as long as we keep playing it'll work at work itself out eventually but uh yeah man we're struggling a bit in this match we got some crazy competition crazy weapons smiley nine jester fm bobcat jade you know all that good stuff everybody's got the top gear possible and you know, it's no joke out here playing back to back, which at the time of recording this voiceover, I think has officially ended, uh, at least for the current time being in After Pulse. I think the mode is currently locked down once again. Um, but yeah, man, we got a lot of a lot of back to back matches. Played a lot in my spare time, just collecting some gear crates. Got a lot of amazing, amazing stuff. So hopefully you guys were able to check that out. If not, stay tuned. Hopefully they do it again in the future and I don't know hopefully they make some sort of like in-game notification system like just telling people that the event is live because I don't think you would really know unless you actually like I don't know watch after Paul's content creators or like talk to people in discord or something because I don't think it was ever announced in the game or anything like that um, you know I guess on the after Paul's social media but even then, I think they actually announced it on their social media like several days after it had actually begun. So um, it would be nice to get some more players informed of what's going on. But there's a back-to-back -back match. I uh, got destroyed by some legends. Uh, <laughs> apologies to Deadshot. Couldn't pull out the dub. But we had a lot of good games in that stream. As I said, last video just recorded like over an hour's worth of gameplay and just chopping it up, adding it to upcoming videos, getting some different stuff as opposed to just playing Gamma Protocol in every video like I was doing prior to this. You know, it's good to get some back-to-back -back matches and we have some custom matches in recent videos and I think we got some more recorded. So um, we'll be sharing them all and I think that's gonna do it for this video. Once again, there it is. Some type of battle pass system coming to after pulse they're calling it the seasonal progression and i think everything's gonna start to make a lot of sense very very soon so hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully i did all right explaining everything probably all over the place but uh <laughs> just uh trying to get the time to make these videos and share all of the info uh so hopefully it's out there even if not the most efficient way hopefully you got all of the info uh, last little note, check out my Discord. Uh, if you're in my current Discord, it should be easy to find the link, or if you're not, the link is just on my YouTube channel here, or I'll try to throw it in the description or a pinned comment or something. Uh, but I did create a separate After Pulse Discord server. I know, another one, but uh, <laughs> I 
hopefully this one will be useful for squads to assemble and you can kind of see the other squads in the game and hopefully that'll come together as this update drops and maybe you will get some use out of it but if you guys want to join that we'll just leave it at that and i'll try to link it below but that'll do it appreciate you guys watching and i'll catch you on the next video